Per le vostre libere ricerche invito a scorrere le migliaia di video attraverso i link che trovate su Indice Alfabetico dal sito web www.tinelli.eu. Su questo canale YouTube avete anche l'incredibile raccolta di playlist suddivisa per tematiche. Le playlist le trovate anche su Indice Alfabetico contrassegnate da questo indicatore. Sempre a disposizione il risveglio, a colori, solo nel formato ebook, ma nella versione cartacea è solo in bianco e nero. Su questo canale, come sul secondo, mi comporto esattamente nello stesso modo di come esercita il regime in autocarica. Viene eliminato qualsiasi commento che non rientra nella mia narrativa delle scoperte fatte come libero ricercatore, ma non impongo nulla. Ognuno è libero di eseguire e ripetere quanto proposto e scoprire la verità, oppure di lasciare il canale e continuare a credere e crogiolarsi dentro il sistema di indottrinamento. I'm Steven. Oh, Tom. What if I told you the government's been lying to you? What would you say? Well, from what I've seen of late, I'd say there's a high probability. What is this lie that I've been fed all these years? We are so excited to share our vision with you. Origins Untold documentary will showcase a skeptic and a stationary Earth believer doing a few scientific experiments to test the heliocentric model. Our message is to have people evaluate and question what they have been taught. This film bridges the gap between stationary Earth believers and heliocentric model believers. As filmmakers, we plan to make this documentary have a very cinematic feel. So stick around, we plan to show our concept film right after this, which will show the look and feel we want for Origins Untold documentary. Catching anything? No luck yet. Ah, that's too bad. Uh, do you mind if I take a few shots of you while you're doing your thing? Uh, sure. Cool, thank you. Want to check it out? It's nice. Yeah, thanks. Obviously, I got to do some editing, but I think it'll turn out good. I'm Steven. Oh, Tom. Yeah, nice to meet you. <clears throat> Would you like a soda? Yeah, sure. Sounds refreshing. Thank you. Mmm. What do you see? Water. Look at the reflection of the sun on the water. Look at how the sun's light stretches across the lake. See, what you're looking at is not possible on a rounded surface. I was always taught the water seeks its level. Agreed. But how about the oceans? You know, 71% of the Earth's surface is covered by water. Gravity? You know, mass attracting mass. Everything we pull toward a molten lava core. You know, gravity. And how about water seeking its level? You know, I mean, how do you even know that we have a molten core at all? The deepest hole man has ever even dug has been six miles deep. 
and let's say we've got a molten core and it burns at 9,392 degrees. All right, that's still too hot for the magnetic properties inside that core to produce a magnetic field. Well, it doesn't look like I'm gonna catch any fish today. <laughs> Tell you what, why don't you come back to the house? We'll have some coffee, try my wife's famous chocolate cake, hang out, should be fun. What do you say? Yeah, sounds great. Can I give you a hand? Sure. What if I told you the government's been lying to you? What would you say? Well, from what I've seen of late, I'd say there's a high probability. What if I told you those lies have been propagated to you through movies, educational system, organized religion, your parents, even if it's by ignorance, that lies have been placed on you since childhood? Would you believe it? I'd have a hard time believing it, but you have sparked my interest. I have some good news and I have some bad news. No. <laughs> the bad news is the kids finished off the chocolate cake. The good news is I have some ice cream cake. Okay. <laughs> That's good news. Thanks, babe. That's great. <clears throat> Enjoy. Thank you. Wow. The sky looks amazing tonight. I'm gonna go out and get a better look. You wanna join her? Sure. Yeah, why not? <laughs> look, it's Orion's belt. Did you know those three stars still align with the three Great Pyramids of Giza? Egyptologists date them at around 2500 BC. That's roughly 4,500 years ago. Wow. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. We've been told that the Earth is spinning on its axis and it's hurling us through space at nearly a thousand miles an hour. And during all that rotation, the Earth is orbiting the sun on an average of 67,000 miles per hour. Yeah. We've got the sun, the Earth, and the entire solar system is all still in motion. And it's orbiting the center of the Milky Way at a blazing 504,000 miles per hour. That's a whole lot of speed going all sorts of directions. Right, and yet, those same three stars are still aligned with the same three pyramids after all these years. That's impossible. Yeah, it is. So, what is this lie that I've been fed all these years? Well, you've been lied to about where you live, the ground you stand on, your very purpose in life and who you are as a person. See, the Earth is not a globe spinning around the sun in an infinite vacuum of space. Your feet lie on a flat plane with the firmament over your head. You're not an accident. You're special. And you are at the center of creation. You know, the more I study this world and look around at everything, from the plants to the animals, and even the makeup of us humans, I see an intelligent design. I see a creator. You two have a convincing argument, but it's a hard pill to swallow. <laughs> I don't know how I will. 
but I'll look into it. I wonder if our coffee got cold. Oh, it's cold. I bet that cake found its level. I bet it did. <laughs> I told you the government's been lying to you. What would you say? Look at how the sun's light stretches across the earth. See, what you're looking at is not possible on the common surface. Look, it's Orion's belt. We've been told that the earth is orbiting the sun on an average of 67,000 the same three stars are still alive. The same three pyramids. Egyptologists state that around 2500 BC. The Earth is not a globe spinning around the sun in infinite vacuum space. 